that's uh, potentially going to win me about 600 bucks. You just shook the trolling the transducer and I, <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do that with the trolling motor. You know what that you know what that ghost tree's caused by? Mm -mm. People don't know this. I hadn't I hadn't told anybody because people would think I was stupid. But it's the air bubbles on your transducer. Really? The, the air bubbles are capturing the return. I mean it gives you that ghost tree. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man. Saw it for your own eyes. Right there. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A little ghost tree tip. Welcome back, good morning. We are on day five or six of this trip. Today I'm fishing with Matt Zenas from Wired for Crappie on YouTube. I will link his YouTube channel below. Uh, we're fishing a little bit of brush pile. I think that's a little dark. We're fishing a brush pile today and uh, hopefully gonna put a ton of crappie in the boat. I hope so, we're gonna, we're gonna move around until we find them anyway yeah. yeah well he's a local so he definitely knows his spots but uh, yeah that's what we're gonna do uh, we got some ACC rods rigged up uh, he's gonna talk about kind of colors and, and patterns he's seeing this time of year we're in the first week of April here on Watts Bar Lake um, I've already found some fish but I'm always interested to hear what the local has to say about his fisheries no pressure right yeah no none, pressure. none at all no yeah none so we are uh, like you said we're on Watts Bar Lake we're in Rockwood Tennessee uh, water temps this morning are 53, uh, probably warm up to 58 before the day's over with. Got a good sunny day today, bluebird skies. Most people don't like fishing bluebird days, I love them. Uh, it pushes fish to brush. I'm a brush fisherman, so um, love bluebird days. Should be a good day, we'll move around a little bit, we'll find some fish. So. There he is. Hi. Yeah. Got to turn the drag up. Yep, little guy. Better better than that, Davis. Fish number one. In the boat, yeah. Yeah, in the boat. Let's pull this in a little, make it a little bigger. There we go. Looks like there's a couple of bibbies down there. You are dropping down. Ah, I wish I could get this a little bit. There you go. Oh, he's right on it. He popped him in the nose. Oh. Did you get him? <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> I missed him. How I missed He's that still fish. down there. Yeah, how I missed that fish, I do not know. He popped it. Mm -hmm. We'll get that one on that outside limb right yep. there. Right here. Smack it. Two of them. Pop. Did, get him. him. Yep. Little guy. Woo! Oh, there he went. Quick release. That could be a decent fish sitting there. About to find out. Get him. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. There we go. <laughs> that's what we're looking for right there. That'd be a go back to the scale and weigh that fish in. Uh huh. That's a beauty of a fish. Nice fish right there. That's knocking on a eh, pound and three quarter. Yeah, we'll weigh him. I'm gonna guess pound and three quarter. Quick comment section. What do you think that fish is? What do, you, do you got a decimal scale or uh, ounces? I have decimal scale. So I'm gonna go one, one point seven five. One yeah. seven five. I'm gonna go. One six three. I think it's about one sixty three. I think it's a good fish. Nice fish though. Uh -huh. Big female, big white crappie. Healthy, big in the back. That's a decent fish. Let's get the scale. See, I told you I don't hook the little ones. <laughs> I try. To, you shake those ones off. I yep. try to shake those off and wait for the big girls.
158. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 160. That's close. There we go. 160. 160. Healthy fish. 160, guys. Nice fish. That nice might win some money in the tournament. It, Maybe. It could. If you weigh it at the right time. If it's weighed at the right in the right hour, it could, yeah. So, there's a lot of these quality fish out here. Watts Bar just has a lot of really nice quality white crappie. There's more setting down there. Let's go catch another one. You want to? Absolutely. Let's let this one go. Alright, girl. Go on. Go. Yeah. Or no, that's a crappie. Oh, Got him. Little guy. Little guy. Yeah. That's a keeper. Yeah, could be a good eater. Little guy. So do you remember crappie fishing before live scope? Oh yeah. <laughs> it was very different. <laughs> it's very. It different. was throw that buoy out, and uh, I did a lot of float fishing, so I could do float fishing with a jig or float fishing with a minnow. Um, I loved our, our post spawn fishing up there because what they'll do is they'll push out from the weed edge in like five to ten feet of water and you can throw beetle spins, little micro crankbaits at them and that's all you're doing is just casting along those weed edges and our water's so clear you could see the distinct drop off of the weeds so but you weren't fishing, I wasn't fishing 20 feet middle of a creek channel like this yeah no not chasing right, let's go find the GoPro, stop recording. Let's, uh... We're buzzing somewhere else? Yeah, let's look. Oh. That's a better one, I think. Oh, yeah. It's a good fish. It's a black. It's a keeper. Oh, yeah. That's why they're... What the heck is on him? Oh, That's he's got a lamprey. Like... Yeah. <laughs> that is a sucker. Hold on. Don't, don't pull it off yet. I want to get it. Uh, that's going to be the thumbnail. That's going to be the thumbnail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's growing in Watts Bar? That's, <laughs> that's going to be the thumbnail. Yeah. Remind me never to swim in this lake. It's basically, you seen those things that swim on sharks? Yep. Ugh, that's nasty. It's, a, it's not a pet. Yeah, that's nasty. Look at that thing. Ugh. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, you can kill it. <laughs> yeah, you can kill it, you can go ahead. All right, where's the live well at? Uh, right here is a large compartment on you. Crop of number one. That's a good fish. There's a good eater. This is kind of the mood that I see when black crappie get on brush. This is kind of the mood you get from a black crappie on brush. It's just, they're just, no, they're not really hungry and they're not really, I mean, they'll eat if you play with them long enough, but they don't just chomp. Big and two, isn't it? Yep. Here he comes. Whack. There he is. That's a big one. Big one? Yeah. Well, that was a good eater. I thought he was bigger. It's going in the box. Here's another. That's a good fish. I'm going to push down there and see if I can get him. Yeah, that's a keeper for see? sure. Yeah. One more for the box. Didn't look like it. Oh, he's, he's coming now. Something's moving. Oh yeah, he's moving up. He's fishing right there. There he is. Got him. I think that's a bigger one. It was a super light bite. Yeah, this feels like a bigger fish. Oh yeah. Came over here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Got him. That's a good one. <laughs> nice fish. Good fish. Super light bite though. I mean, it was barely a yeah. just like dead weight. Yeah, that's how they were on me. It's just super light. There you go, Waspar Lake. Are you a guide here? I am. Well, give this guy a call. Put you <laughs> on fish like this. 
All right, there we go. Caught some pretty good fish. He caught the big one of the day, the one one pound, one point six pounds. Uh, huge thanks again. Absolutely. Thank um, you for I'm, having me. I'm gonna link his channel below, and then if you want a guided trip on Watts Bar Lake to catch some really nice crappie, contact Matt. I will leave the uh, contact info in the video description. Huge thanks again, man. Absolutely. Thank you for coming down all the way from Minnesota. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Same. 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 To everybody, that's pretty much the same area. So. <laughs> it's Minnesota, Wisconsin, up north. Right. Up north. Strike one. All right. So fishing hours, guys. When we leave here, you cannot start fishing until 7.30 sharp. All right. 7.30 sharp. That's an honor system. Please be honorable with that. All right. At 3.30, lines out. Now listen, guys. The scale closes at 3.30. That's the last hour of the day. 2.30 to 3.30 is the last hour, okay? If you're not back here before 3.30, you're not gonna be able to weigh that fish in that last hour. Gotta be back here before 3.30. Good luck, anglers! Good luck and have fun, be safe. Boats 1 through 5, let's there we go. go. Ooh, that, that's a light, bright light. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Day one, or tournament day. Let's get after it. I'm boat 48. So we're gonna be sitting here for a while. We've got 52 boats in this thing, we're 48. It'll be the last flight out, but hopefully we can get on our first spot without any, uh, any other boats on it. So uh, we'll see you at the first light. Why am I so excited? Ladies and gentlemen, I thought for sure, this spot is only seven minutes from the boat ramp. And uh, I thought for sure there was gonna be somebody in this cove. Like 100% chance there was gonna be somebody in here. There's nobody in here right now. So jacked, because there are some monster crappie. Caught a two pound, one ounce crappie off this little tree here. And I know for a fact there's bigger ones on it. Uh, I've seen them on the live scope, so. <laughs> which is awesome. It's 6.57 right now. I can't start fishing until 7.30. But I'm only seven minutes from the ramp. So if I catch a two pounder, a lot, I talk to a lot of guys at the ramp. It sounds like most people are gonna forgo that first hour and uh, probably not weigh in. If I catch a two pounder right away, I'm gonna make the run. Get over there real quick. And uh, yeah, possibly win some cash. It's a big fish right there. Cannot wait to get a new one of these. So unfortunately, while downloading my footage, the footage from my chest cam got completely deleted, so the rest of this tournament is all going to be from this secondary B-roll camera. Goodness. No! <sighs> Did not have my drink set. And that was a monster. Gosh dang, the one thing I needed to do. I cannot believe I just did that. I had him. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be a good one though. I mean, he's a good fish. It's just he's not gonna help my cause, I don't think. Let's see what he weighs. It's not a two-pounder. It's a one-pound fish that does not help my cause at all. thought this was going to happen with the weather moving in either the bite was going to be really good or it's going to be terrible um, 
even these little fish are just barely tapping at it, which isn't good. Hope then when the storm gets closer, the bite's going to turn on, or I don't know. I messed up this morning by missing that one big fish. Gosh dang. I bet I would have won first hour with that fish. That was a two pounder for sure. Well, gotta find another two pounder so we can uh, make some of this gas money back. a good one dude. Oh yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. Grab the net. Oh yeah. Come here, dude. Oh. I think it's a pound and a half. Super light bite. I had to downsize to uh, had to downsize to 16 ounce jigs. I was using full 1/8 ounce. This is a good fish. Good fish. Let's see what this guy weighs. It's a fat fish. What? Oh. Okay, I got one pound, nine ounces. Lock that in. That is number one. So I'm gonna put my cull tags. The cull tags I got are in order for this this thing. So one pound, nine ounces. I don't know. It's a good fish, but I don't know if he's gonna win. It's a good one too, I think. Feels like another good one. Yeah. Oh, that's another good one. That's another one. Come here, buddy. On that one, yes, back to back fish literally like two, two minutes apart. This is minute 47, that's crazy. Man. Another, another solid fish. for this guy. Jeez. This is a pound ten. One pound ten ounces. I don't know if these are gonna cut it, but they might. They might. It's gonna be on the oh. there's two in the box. Let's see if we can get uh how many periods we got left. 10 o'clock almost, 9.55, so 7.30, 8.30 is done, 8.30, 9.30 is done. We have six more left and we're in the sixth. If I can get five total fish, and I can run back and get the 10.30 to 11 and all the hours after that, I think that's going to be the game plan. These are not the uh, two pounders I was hoping for, but Pound and, my, pound and a half fish might do it today, the way these fish are biting. So, he shot up out of nowhere. Oh, it's a black nose. <laughs> it's a hybrid. Oh, I thought he was bigger than this, though. That's crazy. Look at that hybrid. He's a pure black nose. Got the mohawk crappie. Gosh, they got big bellies, but I don't know if this guy's going to help me or not. I mean, he's maybe a pound and a quarter fish. Yeah, he's only a Jeez, he's only a pound. One pound even. That guy ain't gonna help me. He's a cool fish. Cool looking black crappie, but uh, that guy is not gonna help me. So. See you, buddy. Stay on there, buddy. That's a good fish. I don't know if he's gonna go too. That is a good fish out here. 
Yeah, I'm a big guy. These could be good. I don't know what other people I have no idea what other people are catching right now. Yeah, these one pound five ounces. Uh, these are not the fish I want. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Stay on there, buddy. Oh my goodness, stay on there. Get in here. That's a good fish. About time. I don't know. It's a healthy fish, but I don't know. Just don't know anymore. These aren't two pounders. These are not the fish that I that I caught earlier this week. One pound four ounces. One pound four ounces. I'm gonna throw them. In. I'm gonna throw them in. Yeah. These fish are not gonna help me. Not because I don't want to fish, it's just unfortunately my trolling motor it's virtually impossible to uh, the live scope. I got I'm pretty sure this is the first gen of the Garmin Force trolling motors. I'm pretty sure I gotta warranty this out and get a new one. I don't think the new models, even though it's technically the same year, that the first ones they've they came out with, I know they had issues with them. And uh, I'm gonna have to warranty that guy out. It just sucks that it happens during the tournament. But uh, we got four fish. And we only have three time slots left. It's 12.30, it's 12.28. There's no way I'm gonna make it back in time for the 12.30 slot. So 12.30, 1.30, 1.30, 2.30, 2.30, We got three slots. We're gonna to make one more stop and then call it a day because the thunderstorms are gonna start rolling in probably within the next half hour. Um, I can deal with rain, but lightning is a whole nother issue. So let's see if we can get one big fish at that first spot that we lost that definitely was a two pounder. So. First fish, which is, I didn't know. one pound ten ounces. One pound ten ounces. That's our first fish. Fish number two on the call tag. So. Disappointing. Disappointing day to say the least. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the Watts Bar Lake trip. I know the tournament wasn't exactly how I wanted it to go, but uh, crazy thing is the tournament actually ended about an hour ago and we, uh, we got blue skies somewhere over there. Yeah, it stopped raining. Pretty much as soon as the tournament ended, it stopped raining. But uh, can't be that disappointed in missing fish that happens in tournaments uh learned a few things definitely wanted to go to the 1 8 ounce jigs versus that 1 16th i lost two fish because of that and then obviously the first one make sure you set your drag on your reels because you're going to lose a big one. Oh my goodness no 
potentially a money fish. Uh, but honestly, the, the most disappointing thing is this guy right here. That, that guy, right, right there, that guy. Yeah, him. Spend $3,000 on a trolling motor and it doesn't turn left. It's not a good thing. Luckily for me, Garmin has some pretty good customer service. As you know, I'm a fan of Garmin. I run, I got three units and the, and the trolling motor. Um, and I, you know, I, I really am a fan of Garmin. Uh, I talked to Keith Acker. I'm not sure if I got much filming with him or not, but uh, he's a guide down in Louisiana and Texas area. And uh, he, he runs a Garmin as well. And he said the same thing happened to his first, when he first got his Garmin. It was like the, when they first came out, which is when I got this, um, that batch wasn't the greatest. So I'm hoping when I exchange this or you know get the warranty, get a new one, all the bugs are fixed. Anchor lock works, spot lock. It actually turned left, right, and no more foot pedal problems. So that's the hope. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. Huge thank you to ACC Crappie Sticks and to Crappie Cove. Uh, huge shout out to Matt Zenas, Wired for Crappie, all those people that helped put this tournament together. It was a lot of fun, despite the fact that it, you know we were in the rain the entire day. But a lot of big fish got weighed in. A lot of over two pound crappie in Watts Bar Lake. I've boated probably three or four throughout this entire week. Um, so if you are interested in coming to Watts Bar Lake, you can sit right here. Keaton's Lake Lodge, or Lake Cottage, Keaton's Lake Cottage. I'll leave it in a link below. Um, it's actually right on the lake. There's a lake right there. And uh, they got a dock and everything. So if, if you come later in the year, right now you could probably get a bass boat in there. Um, you probably couldn't get like a deep V in there because it's a little, little shallow right now. But by the time they raise it up to summer pool, you could tie a boat off on that dock. So huge shake you to them. So I have to begin a 15 hour drive back to Wisconsin and back to some colder weather, I'm gonna guess. It's probably not, yesterday was 85 here. 85 and sunny. I guarantee we're not gonna see 85 and sunny in Wisconsin probably until June, maybe late May if, if we're lucky. But uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Except maybe move south, I don't know. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. We'll see ya.